was another in the fire. This is another in the fire in the key of C. This is a really simple way to just chord along to this song and have a lot of fun. So make sure to stop the video. And if you click on the description below the video, you will find the uh, link that you can print out uh, the chord sheet and follow along with me. Let's talk about the chords that make up this song. We have A minor, F, C, and G. And then we have a D minor in the bridge. So let's go over those chords. We can start by um, looking for an A minor. So if you put thumb on A, you'll kind of find it tucked between these three black notes. Play every other note, A, C, E. That's an A minor chord. Okay, scoot down two sets of notes and you will find F position there. F, A, C is an F chord. Okay, move up one set of notes and you're in the G position. G, B, D. And then a C chord. Scoot up here, look for this group of two black notes. Here's a C note, every other note. C, E, G. Okay, and then our D minor, if you just move up one set of notes, you're in the D position. Play every other note. D, F, A. Okay, all right, so review. We have A minor, F, G, C, and D minor, okay? All right, so let's talk about what the left hand is gonna be doing. We're just playing single notes down here just to keep it simple. So if we put thumb on C, you're gonna be able to play all of those notes without having to move your hand, which I would encourage you to do. You can play C with the C chord. When you play that D minor, I just like to open my thumb one finger. See how I didn't move my hand? I just played it next to it. I just swung my D, my thumb open to the D, okay? D to D minor, A minor to A, uh, F to F, and G to G, okay? All right, so the song is written in 4-4 four, four times, so let's talk about how the two hands are gonna magically come together. All right, so it's a one to two ratio, so it kind of looks like this. We're gonna start on the A minor. Together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. You can practice that on any of the other chords. C chord, just get your hand into that nice marching rhythm. C, together, right, together, right, together, right, okay? pretty simple. All right, so let's see how we're going to do when we um, add in the vocals, okay? Um, verse one, I'm going to sing through it so you can see how it sounds when we add in the vocals. Here we go. There's a grace when the heart is under fire. Another way when the walls are closing in. The space between where I used to be and this reckoning, I know I will never be alone. I forgot the melody. <laughs> Nothing like stage fright. Okay, here we go. So you could just notice I'm just going through together, right, together, right, together, right. And you kind of hang out there. There's a grace when the heart is up. Let's talk about patterns. We're going to see this A minor F C pattern repeated a lot in this song, almost the entire song. You're going to see A minor F C, A minor F C. Occasionally they throw in that G at the end of that. Okay, so you'll notice that in the verses. You'll notice that in the chorus. So get used to playing that A minor F C and just go through that, maybe right hand by itself so that you get used to that transition of where those chords are in proximity to each other, okay? Because that makes up a bulk of this song, okay? 
Um, let's go into the chorus. And, and I try to be really particular in writing the chord above the word or the syllable in which that next chord should change. Okay. So, um, let's look at that chorus. There was another in the fire. F standing next to C. There was another in the waters. F holding back the seas. And should I cross that bears the burden where another died for me there is another in the fire f c okay remember that pattern a minor f c that's the entire chorus all the way through um verse one two and three are the exact same uh they might have a little tag at the end let's see yeah, like they sometimes just repeat the last line that's the only thing different there um, let's look at that bridge. Like I said, you're just playing A minor F C and in the bridge you do add, add in that G and then they throw in that D minor. So let's just kind of take note of that. Okay. So, and I can see the light in the F darkness as the C darkness bows to G him. I can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between thin and I could feel the ground shake beneath us as a prison walls cave in nothing stands be okay here's that D minor between us nothing stands be sorry F us nothing stands between us okay and then you can go back into that chorus if you want or you can repeat that bridge have a lot of fun with this one. Um, go back to the beginning of the song if you need a little help. Like I said, the chord sheet is in the description below. Make sure to grab that. Um, this one has so much repetition. I think once you get the hang of it, right hand all by itself, then bring in the left hand, um, maybe by itself, and then bring the two hands together and see what that looks like. Um, and you can play along with me. Uh, you can even slow it down in the settings of your YouTube songs. You can slow it down if I'm playing it a little bit too fast for where you're at. Uh, have a lot of fun. I'm going to play it beginning to end. There's a grace when the heart is under fire. Another way when the walls are closing in. And when I look at the space between where I used to be and this record See the light in the 
darkness as the darkness bows to him and i can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between wears thin i can feel the ground shake beneath us as the prison walls cave in nothing stands between Wasn't